on the Christine Rose. We're definitely in some really good gold here. Tons of fine gold, too. Mr. Gold is living up to his name. Lots of fine gold. Sean Pomeranke he is checking in on his crew to make sure they're still tapping a gold-rich pay streak. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm looking to get a 1,000 ounces this season. You got to keep, you got to stay on top of your sluice box. You don't manage your sluice box right. You could blow hundreds of thousands of dollars off the end by washing it. You got to keep opening up room for new gold. Four or $500,000 towards the mega dredge would get a lot of it done. I mean, we'd be a lot closer to being in the water. Oh, yeah. That's looking way better, huh, Jesse? Yeah. If there's no gold, then my guys that work for me don't get paid. If they don't get paid, they don't want to work. If they don't want to work, then there's no gold. So it's a ripple effect that uh, when you have lots of gold, there's lots getting done. When there's not much gold, then it kind of slows things down and to a snail because you don't want to spend money you don't have, although that's what I'm doing. Get another full day. We need a couple full. We need a couple weeks on this. A lot of people say that I'm lucky. Well, I think luck is earned. And luck is earned by working hard and staying focused and not getting discouraged in this uh, and keep pushing and pushing forward. Yesterday, Jesse and Cody put a bunch of gold in there. The more gold we put in the sluice box, the faster we'll get the mega dredge done. This year, Sean has a lofty 1,000 ounce gold that'll keep his team mining around the clock. These guys got this under control. I need to go build some sluice boxes. All right, buddy. Well, good luck. Uh, tear it up. Yeah, Roger. All right, we're out of here. Just left the Christine Rose. And now I'm going to go focus on the wash plant. By the end of today, the wash plant should be fully assembled. This is the first major piece of the mega dredge that's coming together. So you can kind of see. We got to mount the sluice boxes to the skid plates. The towering 50-foot-tall wash plant is the beating heart of the mega dredge. Its sole purpose is to filter gold out of the sediment carved from the ocean floor. We got the big red hopper. We got to get that mounted up on top. And then we'll worry about the rest of it. To get the wash plant up and running, Sean's creating four custom-built 8-foot by 10-foot sluice boxes and attaching a newly constructed hopper to the top. When it's done, it'll be the biggest of its kind in Nome. Looking good. One sluice box, two sluice box. I need four sluice boxes so I can push 100 tons per box. To the right. To put the processing power of these four sluice boxes into perspective, to the right, yep. Sean's current dredge, the Christine Rose, uses just one single four-foot sluice box to move 60 tons an hour. I need some help here. Just don't get your legs or feet under it. down, three more to go. Huh? Hopefully we can pile up a bunch of gold. I like repurposing old junk and making it into something that'll eventually make uh, millions of dollars. We have something great right here. The hope is that the wash plant will be an unrivaled mining monster, Sean's very own Frankenstein. Twice of what Ken's got. 
He'll be a little jealous. plant done. It's a huge milestone for building Mega Dredge. It's one of the most important pieces of the equipment on the whole barge. And it went from a picture in my head to an actual thing. This is my retirement right here. We got some momentum. We're moving forward. We're going to get this thing done. There's nothing like this on the Bering Sea. Myrtle Irene's big, but we're way bigger, way badder. I get this thing in the water and producing gold, game over. See what we got. While Sean assembled the wash plant for the Mega Dredge, his crew stayed on the gold with the Christine Rose. Well, we got 30 hours on the box. Doesn't quite look like 30 ounces, though. We need every little bit of gold to keep building on the Mega Dredge if we want to get that thing done, so every little bit helps. 15. This is not looking good. 20. 21.6. 21.6 ounces. That's just north of $25,000. A decent showing for now, but more will need to roll in if the Mega Dredge is going to hit the water this year. 30 hours on the box, not the best cleanup. So we just got to get back out and do better. 